So I've always wanted to make a video on TF2, with the game being almost 14 years old, I felt like almost every topic that could be discussed has been covered by now. I mean, just look at this 40 minute video of some guy talking about why the aquaflops are the worst cosmetic in TF2. Well, that was until I thought, you know what, I'm just going to share my own experience with TF2. So let's get started. I want to say my first exposure to TF2 was a video uploaded by the Ogscast around 2013. I couldn't locate the exact video, but I remember them being on Well and Lewis was raging. From then on, I did some research on the game, which led me to discover Steam, as well as the fact that TF2 was free to play, so I quickly installed both on my potato of a laptop. Now because this was all so long ago, the details are foggy, but I'm pretty confident in saying my first match was on 2-4 and My favourite class is the Spy. I remember when I discovered you had the ability to cloak, coupled with the backstab insta-kill, that all I did was just hide in corners for like 5 minutes at a time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to get a backstab. I realise now how annoying that must have been for other players to see a spy sitting in a corner doing nothing, but hey, at least I never wore the gibbous. Then somewhere down the line I started experimenting with the other classes, and after over 2000 hours I can confidently say that my favourite class is... the random class. Yeah, I like them all equally, bit of a cop out I know, but I really don't mind playing whatever class is needed on a game by game basis. Of course, I do have classes I slightly prefer over others, but I'm willing to switch at any moment. Now you may also be thinking, wow, 2000 hours? You must be pretty good at the game, right? Well, I'd say my skill level is about here. That's because for me, TF2's always been about having fun first, and I love learning all the little tricks and nuances that are possible for each class, just to give me that slightest edge in combat. For instance, seeing what places I can reach with a sentry jump, to seeing how far I can go with a demo man charge. It's moments like these when I catch my enemy by surprise and successfully outwit them that I love about TF2. So based on what I said previously, you could probably guess I play a lot of casual mode, and that would be correct. Even with the bot invasion, there's just something chaotic about casual mode that I can't really find on community servers. Sometimes you can get a game that's a complete dud, whether that's because the server is bot riddled or your team has 5 spies. But then on the opposite side, you can get a game where everyone comes together to work on the objective, perfect harmony, kicking any bot in sight, and it's amazing. So now let me share one of my favourite TF2 memories. I was on the Halloween map precipice, playing NG. I had my sentry placed right here, when for whatever reason I was joined by a pie bro. Together we made a pretty powerful team, but all it took was one good demo man and we were done for. Both teams were skilled, so I knew it was only a matter of time. Then all of a sudden our team just decided to go all in on helping my defence, and before I knew it I had an army of pie bros helping me out, and we managed to hold off several uber pushes and various other strategies. I remember everyone in chat was communicating with each other, and it was truly glorious. In that moment I remember being so grateful to the team, and thinking to myself, this is what TF2 is supposed to be. Which leads me into my next point, player interactions. Now I'm not talking about the combat side, I'm talking about those random little moments you get in the middle of a match. Now it's better to explain with some examples. So here I am, I've just noticed this guy was a spy, and after chasing him for a bit, he started to plead for his life. Now being a merciful god, I let him go, which ultimately saved me from doom later in the match, as the same spy tried to backstab me on point, but then after realising who I was, gave up and left. And this next example is again a spy I had cornered, but this one decided to taunt. It was at this point we transcended all normal methods of communication and died in each other's arms, only for a scout to run along and meet the same fate. However, it's not only with spies. Here's one where I'm just waiting for the round to start, when the entire Scottish orchestra decides to join and put on a free symphony for all. I have several more examples. Here's me begging for my life so that my cover doesn't get blown. Here's a server turn friendly after I taunted with an enemy medic. Here I am using the Uno reverse card. But by now, I'm sure you get the idea. <laughs> it's all these things that come together to make TF2 such a special game to me. But although I don't play as much as I used to, it'll never be a game I quit and always hold in the highest regard. Thank you for listening to my story.